ready, 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 ready. Do it, do it. All right. Hey guys, Paul with CP Addict here on this beautiful hot ass day in Texas. As you know, we always do a Fix It Friday. We were kind of short on ideas for this Fix It Friday, so went down two buildings down to where my dad works and borrowed his red 96 F350 and we're gonna do a cap light install for y'all. He kind of didn't want to give the truck up because he said it's dirty. Yeah, okay. Anyways, when he first got this thing, one of the first things he did was he put our clear headlight package grill chrome bezels for the uh, headlight trim in the truck to give it that fresh new look because the old headlights were all faded. So today, I'm gonna upgrade his look a little bit on the cab lights. The original cab lights are kind of faded and grungy looking and he wants to change them out to clear with amber LEDs. So what not better on a Fix It Friday than to do a set of cab lights on Pop's truck. So let me grab the cab lights real quick. So when you order cab lights from us, they'll come zipped up in a box like so. You can open it. Oh, Christmas Day! If you opt for the cab light bulbs, you get five bulbs. They're typically wrapped a little better than this. I just snagged these out of the drawer. You get five bulbs in a baggie. And then you'll get the cab lights. The new gaskets. These are factory fit and finish off of the factory molds. The socket in the inside is built to fit into factory cab lights. We are still currently working on getting a harness made for them. Haven't found somebody to make a factory harness yet, but we're working on it. Anyway, you'll get five cab lights, five bulbs if you opt for the bulb package. You can get either amber or clear. Obviously, he wants amber. And then, it does not come with this, but this is our handy dandy toolkit for install today. Thanks to Seth. So, without further ado, we'll get to, uh, get to getting. Basically, all we need out of this entire thing here is the Phillips head bit. Maybe I'm smart enough to operate it. Phillips head bit, climb up on the truck, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I've taken the liberty of go ahead and, and laying the cab lights out how we want them. Uh, this is really a super simple install, but just, you know, so we, we can show you how we do it. Um, obviously, I'm vertically challenged, so I have to go back and forth from both sides here, but I'll show you how how we personally do it. So obviously Phillips screwdriver, take the factory screws out of the cab lights. So the factory cab lights have a bulb socket and a, and a pigtail plug. There's a pre-punched hole in the cab with like rib nut type things for the screws. So this is just a twist socket. You'll untwist it, pull it out, pull the bulb out. Always make sure to pull the bulbs out first and that'll be apparent here why in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of the cab lights off. So being vertically challenged, this is the way I have to do the center cab light. I am on my tiptoes by the way. And that's how I do the center cab light. It's the only way I can do the center cab light. Now we've got the old cab lights off. Hopefully you can see in this and how weather cracked and dry and this one, the side of it's busted and things like that. So these needed replacing really bad anyway. And kind of a comparison shot you can see the curve on both of those that fit the roof so got the cab lights out all the bulbs out now I'm gonna show you why we pulled all the bulbs out so got all the bulbs out we're gonna pull the park lights on just enough to, to light up the cab lights we'll get our LED bulbs out and these are a direct replacement you just plug them into the socket you always turn the lights on and plug them in before you mount your cab lights because if you don't you might not have one seated all the way 
or you might have a harness issue and you need to address that because it sucks getting all the cab lights on and then your lights aren't working. Seth was asking about hazard pay. I don't know what the problem is. It's only 105 today. Actual temperature. Who's over there looking it up? Real feels 115 today. Still not real bad. Unholy. All right, so when I was installing the cab lights just a second ago, I always loosely put the screws in until you can get them all set in place. Because sometimes you need to be able to adjust them just a touch. And it definitely helps. Alright, and we have cab lights installed. We'll go to the front of the truck and show you what they look like with the cab lights off and with the cab lights on here just a few minutes. All right, so in conclusion, new cab lights on the truck make it look a whole lot better. Goes great with our clear uh, headlight package. In his headlight package, he opted for all the LED bulbs and everything. So you kind of get a feel of what the truck would look like with both. So I'm gonna go turn it on so you can see what the cab lights look like when they're lit up and what the headlights and park lights look like with our bulb package also. And there you have the install, all the LED lights in the front, LED lights on the cab. It may be hard to see in this video. It is straight up noon here in Texas and there ain't a cloud in the sky today. Yeah, no clouds in the sky. So anyway, here I go. Seth, let's show him the interior real quick. So in the first of the video, I mentioned that he didn't want us to shoot a video of his truck because it was dirty. Check out the interior of this dirty 266,000 mile truck. Seth, show him. y'all know about that porno red it's got factory floor mats in it 